Often talked of, never seen, ever coming, never been. Daily looked for, never here, still approaching, coming near, though they expect me to appear. We are doing a riddle together this week, and we are looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 16 to 21. And at the beginning, we showed how Christ was actually looked at as the world looks at him, and we are looked at as the world looked at, looks at us. I've been here all week in a hat and in a flannel shirt, and this is just the area that I live in. I like flannel shirts. I like hats. I feel very comfortable this way. But when other people see me like this, they're like, uh, that guy can't be someone who would bring God's word. And yet, really, there's nowhere in the Bible that says any of that. We are to bring God our best, and that starts from the inside, which is about us being that new creation. But between how it is that the world sees us and the words that God calls us and how He sees us, there is a word that we tend to stay away from, and that is reconciliation. Whenever I think of reconciliation, I think of my wife, how she used to take the checkbook and down to the penny, she had to have it every single month. If she couldn't find that one cent, she would go through everything over and over and over until it was completely reconciled. And all it did was give her times of stress. I didn't want that for her. And you know what? She would hold on to it and hold on to it and hold on to it. And that is what we do to ourselves. And that is what the world does to us. It has us hold on to guilt. Once again, though, Christ doesn't want that for us. He gives us instead His grace. Are you holding on to guilt? Or are you holding on to grace? We can extend that grace to others, but we can't accept that grace for ourselves.